As a naturopathic doctor, I get hundreds of questions every day about supplements and how to use them. So we're going to try to go over a few of them for you today. I saw an ad on TV that claims to cure uh, my insomnia, my low testosterone, whatever it may be. Uh, do they really work? A lot of times these supplements are heavily marketed. Uh, something that you see on TV isn't necessarily the best choice. There are a lot of ingredients in them that may be useful, but a lot of what they're trying to do is pitch you a product. In many cases, there are other supplements that are professional brands that could be more useful, but you should ask your provider. I see on the news that multivitamins are useless. Is that true? The studies that are kind of spread out through the news media are oftentimes not great. They tend to use low quality supplements and are not necessarily the correct dose for each person. There are a lot of really high quality multivitamins out there that have lots of good ingredients. Maybe they're more than one a day, maybe they have less binders and fillers, but there are many more choices out there than what they're studying in the test. If things you may wanna look for on a label are the types of nutrients, you should be able to be comfortable looking at the nutrition facts on the back of a label. They will tell you what's in there. They will tell you if they are enough quality, they'll tell you percentages. And I always tell people to read the added ingredients. There shouldn't be lots of fillers and binders. There shouldn't be things that you don't expect to be in your supplement. And get it from a reputable company. There's lots of them out there. Um, research the brand online. There's, there's plenty of things that you can find in the markets or online. And so if you need to have some supplements in your diet, a high quality multivitamin may be useful. Should my fish oil smell like this? Uh, if you open up your bottle of fish oils, and I have a lot of my patients bring their bottles into the office, uh, you should open it up and it should smell like nothing, or maybe a little bit fishy, or if they put a flavoring like orange or lemon, it should smell like that. If it smells like rubber, like burnt tires, if you've had it on your counter for months and years, it's time to get rid of it. Fish oil should stay in the fridge. Once you open it, it's fish, it's oil. Uh, it goes rancid pretty quickly. So check your bottles, give it a sniff test, and don't buy it by the thousand count. Buy a small bottle, use it up, and replace it as needed. Wonderful. I eat a lot of yogurt. Is that a helpful probiotic? It is a probiotic source, but a lot of people are sensitive to dairy. So either they're avoiding the yogurt altogether or they get all sorts of digestive issues when they eat it. There are hundreds of different probiotics on the market. Uh, yogurt usually contains one strain. And so it's trying to make the dairy into yogurt and not into just plain milk. Some people need more of other types of probiotics. I tell people to look for products that have multiple strains, at least five, maybe 10 different types of strains, and 10 to 20 or sometimes 30 billion units. Uh, you can find that at any store. There's lots of variety out there. What's the deal with turmeric? Uh, turmeric is an anti-inflammatory herb. It works in similar pathways to some of our non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications do. It comes as a root, classically. Uh, this form is not very well absorbed unless you're eating turmeric every day. So if you have curry or something with turmeric in it every day, you may be able to get enough from this form of turmeric. Uh, turmerics that are found in uh, supplement products are usually mixed with black pepper and increases absorbability by multiple thousands of a percent. And so you can't just sprinkle extra turmeric on your meal, find a good quality product, and it could help potentially with pain or other health conditions. Melatonin doesn't help me fall asleep. I've tried it many times. Why not? And what can I try instead? Melatonin is what I explain to my patients. It's like the person at the start of a race with a starting gun. It gets everything in your brain organized for sleep, but doesn't help you fall asleep itself. And so there are often combination products that use melatonin to start the process and then use other nutrients or herbs to help to get you to fall and stay asleep. Uh, typically with melatonin, a smaller dose is often better than a bigger dose. And you can try different timing as well. If you take it just before bed, try it a little earlier. Try it an hour before you go to bed to try to kick off those processes in the brain. Can I get everything that I need from the foods that we eat if we're eating healthy foods? Uh, if you eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, you can probably get close. Uh, a lot of our fruits and vegetables uh, are coming organic or conventional. They don't necessarily have the same amount of nutrients that they did 50 or 100 years ago. But if you're base of your diet is nice, healthy, colorful things, then you can probably do a pretty good job. How do I know when I might need a vitamin or supplement? Uh, talk to your doctor. There are lots of lab tests that can be done that can assess your nutrient status, whether it's iron or vitamin D or other minerals and vitamins. Uh, routine blood tests cover most of them. And so going to a regular annual visit and getting those tests should get an idea on whether you need some supplementation. 
Why does our body need vitamins and nutrients? What happens if we don't get enough of them? Oftentimes people's diets are not filled with colorful fruits and vegetables and you're sitting around potentially eating mostly processed foods. There are diseases that have been around for centuries that are due to vitamin and mineral deficiencies, scurvy, rickets, and others. And some people today still get them. So it's important A, to focus on healthy diet if you can, or B, to use good quality supplements to help to bring those levels up on your body. Do I need vitamin D, especially here in Cleveland? I would say yes. Uh, I started my practice way back in Arizona and everyone there, most people were vitamin D deficient. Uh, here in Cleveland, many people are. We have uh, cloudy days, we have a long winter. We don't make vitamin D between roughly the months of October to March. And then during the summer, you need to be outside exposed to the sun. So we know as we go further up north in the country, more people become vitamin D deficient. So it's important uh, if you're deficient to supplement with good vitamin D. A lot of stuff I buy says natural. What does that mean? Uh, natural is a marketing term. So a company could put it on their label regardless of how much natural or non-natural ingredients in there. Uh, supplements are not regulated by the FDA. So there's a wide range of what could be in there and what's not in there. And just relying on natural doesn't necessarily mean that it's good. Again, looking at the back of the uh, nutrition facts and seeing the ingredients that are in there, looking at the added ingredients, if there's any junk or fillers or binders, then contact the company, read the label, research them online. You can find out a whole bunch more on there. I hope this was helpful. Remember for your health, focus on a healthy diet first, lots of fruits and veggies. If you need supplements, do your research. Don't buy a ton. Make sure that they're supplementing you, not sustaining you.